Now from here we will move ahead to the next theorem, theorem number three. But before going ahead into that theorem, I have to talk about something called in degree out degree. Okay, what is this in and out degree is exactly? Let's let's see from an example. Suppose you have a a uh, graph like this okay now say i have named them say b1 b2 b3 and say they have uh, edges i mean direction to that so it has to be a directed graph something like this okay and i have to compute the degrees so earlier i said degree of v1 is equals to 1 correct that still remains same degree of v2 remains 2 degree of v3 remains 1 exactly same but in degree which is actually denoted by degree minus of some vertices for example say v1 okay so in degrees are some number of edges which are incidenting on it okay how many edges are incidenting on v1 is there any what is it uh, edges which are incidenting on v1 no right it's outgoing it's not incidenting so minus degree means in degree incidenting number of edges is equals to zero now out degree denoted by positive sign of some vertices say v1 now how many edges outgoing that is the number of degree plus here one de uh, edge is going out right so one so you can see earlier total degree was mentioned okay if somebody asks you what is the degree of these vertices in directed graph or undirected graph it has to be number of in plus out but if somebody asks separately what is the in degree or out degree then you have to count like this say let's let's uh, now compute all the values okay so degree of v1 so it i we have already uh, found degree minus of v1 degree plus of v1 now in degree of v2 what is the in degree of v2? How many edges? Incidenting. One edge is incidenting, right? This is out, this is in. So one. Out degree of v2. This is out. This is in. So this is not considered. This, these edge is considered. So one. So earlier we had total degree two, but now that is distributed obviously in one out and one in correct similarly for v3 degree in of v3 will one this one and degree out of v3 there is no edges going away from the v3 okay so so this is what uh positive and negative degrees are so you can see right now something like degree or whole degree of some i vertex is equals to the sum of out degree of i plus the sum of in degree of i correct so you have to remember this, this is a very important thing but it is not the theorem i will come to theorem later so still before the theorem, we have to discuss another thing. So, earlier we had this graph where we found some in and out degree of B1, B2, P3. Okay. Now, what if there exists a loop? We didn't discuss about this. What if there is a loop over here? So, the in and out degree of V2 doesn't change because nothing has happened. Here, nothing happened. So, what will change? The in and out degree of v1 let's say what is the degree of v1 
what is the total degree of v1 it was from the earlier example only one incident two incident three incident so three i mean not incident in this case i can say ages from or to a vertex in case of directed graph we have to talk in that terms but in this case what is the in degree of v1 and what is the out degree of v1 okay so what is the in degree in how means how many incidenting on it how many graph how many edges are incidenting on it only one this loop is incidenting correct so one how many degrees outgoing from uh, v1 so this one is obviously there and for this loop one is out one is in so so basically these out will be considered and these out will be considered two one one two okay so basically these two are equals to three so this is how from loop we calculate the in degree and out degree so after learning this in degree and out degree the theorem that we have to learn is so theorem number 3 okay and what this theorem is saying is a very interesting theorem the sum of all the in degrees of the vertices i is equal to n is equals to the sum of all the positive vertices degree positive vertices where i is 0 to n and these also equals to number of edges very interesting let's see the example v1 v2 v3 okay okay so let's compute first the positive degrees i'm not writing in details just numbers i'm writing so so for v1 what will be the out degree out this is v1 out is 1 and 1 2 for v2 no out degree let's name this v2 and this uh, v3 okay so for 2 uh, how many out degree this one so v3 no out degree zero so total three okay now negative ones means the incoming ones incident ones for v1 it is one it's out out so this will be considered one for v2 this will be considered this will be considered one for v3 there is only one edge and that is incident angle so total three you can see this i mean this was negative so 3 is equals to the positive 3 and which is also equals to the number of edge right how many edges are there 1 2 3 so this is how the theorem gets proved okay so you can be asked many problem statements on top of these three theorems so from here we will go ahead and discuss some problem statements on graph theory on the basis of so far we what we have learned